we have been beneath it, but again, not for an extended period of time. And if we do breach it, it could drop the price again back down another 8% or so, which would take us to 60K, where we've been to before. And for me, I'm a buyer at 60K, so I would not mind at all a little dipperoni down to that zone, uh, because I do believe we have a long way to go in this bull market. Now, again, I'm just a guy on the internet. I could be completely wrong, but I like to base things on probabilities, not hope. Now... Alex is back again. The funding rates, which we've also been talking a lot about recently, uh, the dominance of the bulls in the futures market indicated by the funding rate has decreased from a level of 0 0.177 when we were at 71,100. Interesting matching numbers. 2.008, which is now at 65K, 65.5. And the number of bulls and bears in the market is equal. And the momentum, however, is not in favor of the bulls right now. The momentum is still in favor of the bears because of all the confluence of events like selling across ETFs, and which we'll talk about in a minute, and Grayscale and others. Let's look at these ETFs actually real quick. So far, as of June 17th, the total net flows were 2,210 Bitcoin out. Bitwise had some positive inflows. Uh, Fidelity... Had a bit of a dump, a big dump actually, 92 million. But the US ETFs still hold 